I'm just going to stick it out. What's up, Cannonball? We're back for another one. I'm over here getting some I'm really since stepping on some coffee, you know. It's one of my favorites. So if you want to send some, send some. But, um, yeah, you guys, about yesterday's video, I was, I don't know why I deleted it. Well, I know why I did it, why I did delete it, because I was kind of confused on who shared it, because I thought it was a troll, but it's, it actually wasn't a troll. It was someone that I've been following for years. I thought somebody was playing with me at first, so I was like, I don't know this person, and they done changed their picture, so I didn't know who the hell it was, you know. So it's kind of like a fool, because that was a good-ass video. I mean, it was a really, really good video. But I know, I know next time. Do my research and some background checking, you know. But, um, about how I felt yesterday. Yesterday, I really just felt like there should be boundaries when it comes to, you know, the siblings. And you have, you know, well, to a sibling and to a friend, you know, while they are in the same, you know, room. You know, a sibling should not go too far, which they have in the past. And a friend should not go too far, you know. And, um... I feel like when you have to, when you got, when you got a, a sibling that, that is being kind of just saying any old thing off their dome, they need to be corrected because if they don't be corrected right in and there, they will just go right along in life thinking that it's so cool to just say any damn thing off the top of your head and expect someone not to, and, well, really expect people not to be mad about it. But you know what? Unfortunately, that's unrealistic because we live in a world where when you say something crazy to someone, you got to either get a fist upside of your head, well, let alone a bullet, a bullet off in your ass, you know. And I really want this person to really understand and grasp, you know, the fact that you need to show more respect and sh and think before you s just say it out because you never know what can offend someone, you know. You just never know. Not not, not me personally. I wasn't offended, but I was just kind of irritated to the point where I'm like, you don't. Know, I'm I'm right here, and you want to there and tell this person that I don't care. You know about you know I guess basically saying I don't care about about someone as my friend well being which is not true because if I didn't care about my friend well 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 being well being um I wouldn't allow, I would never allow my allow a, you know friends to come down and crash for a few weeks I wouldn't allow you know friends to make money the legal way not the illegal way where I lay my head at, you know I, I I um if I didn't care. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want people at, I wouldn't I wouldn't even want them at my house if I didn't care too much you know all the time you know because a lot of times if I don't feel like being bothered I will shut people off but I'm trying to work on that but if I didn't care when my friend that was needing me for the at the time being if I, I didn't care I could have easily just shut the door you know and I and I really wish this person knew that if it wasn't for your your, your brother's friend where would he be you know. Not saying that I had all, every, everything that, that 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 this person may have needed, but where would the hell they be? Cause y'all left, you know. You left, you know. People ain't gonna tell you everything. They only gonna tell you what they want you to know. And you know, he didn't tell you this, you know, just to keep it, you know, on the wraps. But yo, quote unquote, loved one did not tell you. Hey, I wouldn't. There where I said I was there. Well, I mean, where, where I said I was at. I was actually at somebody's house. You know? That's what a friend would have done. If I was, a, if I was a fake ass friend, I would have said, I would have told you some bullshit just to get you out of my hair. And then you have, you and, I, and me not knowing that where, whatever you're going through mentally and physically, you need to see me, you know what I'm saying? You, you might need, you need, need some assistance ASAP, you know? Whether it's shelter or some food. The people that don't give a damn about you, they, they won't spend their money on you. But they won't, um, you know, come to a, an aid that you may need for the time being. And that really just pissed me off. It really did because you want to sit there and make a, accusations and, assumption, and assumptions. It's like, and until you can get out there and, and in this world and really, and really just live your life instead of, instead of being still, still, under the, uh, still under your mother's titty, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about how you, how you feel and... What you think is right and what you think is wrong because you even you're not even living. You 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 being and and another thing I'm gonna say this I'm not like you I'm not like you thinking all you know, you, you want to sit up there and tell me you're known you're known you're known oh you okay I, I can see why you 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 would say this because 
a person that I know for a fact that's not really about all of, all of that life that they talk about will go find someone that is about their life so they can hide underneath their balls. So when in time they get in some bullshit, they can go tell them about it so they can get into their shit instead of them handling that shit on their own. Mm. That's what somebody that's known would do, you know. But I understand motherfuckers are looking at you like you don't need to be fighting. You, you're just so skinny and little. You can't do too much. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm looking at you, too. So I will see why you would be underneath them balls. And well, underneath their ball sack. And hiding behind them. Telling, telling them all your issues. So they can try to come to your defense. Unlike, unfortunately, I don't roll like that. I don't roll like that. And people that know me, they know I don't really bring my shit to them. I handle them on my own. Like I've been doing for the past 29 years. I don't have to run and say, oh, this person is not, this, this person has been um, saying this and saying that about me. Oh, my, where's my homies? Nah, I handle my own shit. Now, if my homies want to come in, I'll come and come around just to be on the safe side. So nothing too crazy pop off. They get that more welcome to come. But other than, other than that, I handle my shit on my own. And someday you will have to do that same thing. Instead of being behind a bunch of niggas for protection. Mm. You need to go out and live more. Get out there and live more, and you will see what I'm talking about. Because, <laughs> boy, yo, that mouth, you know, you're going to cast a check that your ass for is cannot cash in the heat of the moment. Because I ain't going to be around to save you. And honestly, so I got a call today. I was not giving a fuck. You're grown. Do what you want to do. And I can't really go into details about it because that's personal. But I'm just saying, I just really didn't give a damn because you talked all that shit yesterday. So why should I have any concern about whereabouts, about your whereabouts? I'm just keeping it real. I don't. I don't have any concerns. Don't wish nothing bad or harm upon you. But, you know, you cause it upon yourself when you say crazy shit to people out there in the world. And then when they get on your ass, you want to go run and hide your hand and shit. Mm. All right, you guys, we're going to get off of that. Because I can go on and on about that. And um, what I was going to say, I was looking at something on T. Oh, well, I got to hurry up to this. This thing is going to go dead on my ass. Um, Can you guys even fathom having an open relationship? Me personally, because I got to hurry up to get this out. I can't do the whole open relationship. You know, honestly, I feel like when you have an open relationship, you just a, you just opening the door for all the sorts of things to come in and out of your life that you don't need. You know, like diseases, mm -hmm, drama, kids, baby mama, baby father, other family members, cousins, sisters, brothers, aunties, aunt, uncles, mm -hmm, sometimes even the grandmothers and the great grands. Now, we all know they don't need to be in the shits, but when you got young people out here now it's okay to you know i say it's okay to date multiple people but if you have our own relationship y'all still want to go out there and fuck off on the next person when y'all got each other i just don't see it in my future i, I, I don't see that being something that's going to be a success because after a while someone's going to want somebody around a lot more than the other person mm-hmm or someone may want a little less time around <laughs> than, the, than the other person because they want to get back to the to that other boo or that or, the, or this person and that person, you know. And that, for me and my eyes, that is just too much work to put, you know, really to put a lot of your time in. You know, have I been in some, some situationships? I sure have. I would. Have, I didn't enjoy it. That's why I, I had to learn and t tell myself, you know. You, 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 you can either go in not knowing or you can go in knowing. <laughs> okay, because when, you, when you're not when you're not knowing what's really going on, you know, I would say, yeah, you can't play the fool. But when you know, you already know, don't put no feelings into this. This ain't going nowhere. Because I feel like nine times out of ten, when we meet people that quote unquote want to talk to us, we, we, we can already kind of size, size, size each other up and down and see this ain't going to really go nowhere. You can tell the, the, the conversation when you are talking with someone and how far y'all are really going to go. You know, I, I have did it. I, and, I, and to this point, and to, well, really to this day, I, I well, at this point, and to this day, I I don't have the interest to really even want to meet nobody, really, because 
Everybody's doing the same thing about sex, and I'm not really all about sex, you know. Yeah, pleasure is fun. It's nice. It's nice feeling. But I want, you know, I want something more than that. I'm not about the XEX all the time. And a lot of people out here are just about a good old NUT, and then that's out on your ass. You know, I ain't trying to be like that. Even though I can, if I wanted to be a hoe, I'd be a good old hoe. I promise you, I, look, I promise you guys, I want to be that type of person, which I thank God I'm not. I could be that, but I just could not be with somebody that I'm saying I love, and I'm, and I still got somebody on the side that I want to be loving on too. Uh -uh, I can't do that. But on that, on that, on that note, you guys, it's time for me to go. I think I done went over a minute, a few minutes on my thing. Um, on that note, you guys, I appreciate you coming through and watching me, and it's time for me to get back into the groove of things over here, and I will come back with another one on the next time. Peace, cannonballs.